Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 to test out another brand new car here in the game. Um, so there's actually two cars available for the new Horizon Super 7 that you can unlock by reaching tier 5 uh, for the Austin 7 and tier 7 for the Triumph TR7. So I did kind of cover that um, in the first video looking at that, um, looking at this new mode. But I have now unlocked both cars, so today I'm going to be testing both out. Uh, in this video, you might notice a slightly earlier upload time. Uh, I'm going to be testing out the Austin 7, and then later on uh, there'll be a video coming out at the usual 8 o'clock upload time, um, testing out the Triumph TR7. Um, there are some other new cars in this game that I'm going to be testing out throughout the week. There's the Cyberpunk car as well, so watch out for that one. Um, yeah, but this first video is going to be taking a look at the Austin 7, which is a prize for reaching Tier 5 of the Horizon Super 7. Uh, this one didn't actually take too long to unlock. The Triumph took little bit longer and was a little bit irritating because I didn't really want to be doing these uh, anymore. <laughs> I've kind of, I've, I've got my enjoyment from Super 7, it's beginning to get a little bit old now. Um, a lot of the challenges are very similar, but anyway. Um, we do now have the Austin 7 to test out, so if we jump over to Austin, uh, it is now the second Austin we have in the game, we've obviously got the 1960s FX4 Taxi. Um, but yes, it's an Austin 7 with 10 horsepower and a less than 1 litre engine. So it's a tiny little, tiny little thing with not much power. Um, it's actually the oldest car in Forza, uh, being a 1924 vehicle. Um, and yeah, it is new to Forza, we haven't seen this in any games before, I don't think. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's the second we have alongside the taxi. Um, but yeah, 10 horsepower, it's not very fast. That's a little straight four engine in here, apparently. And an interesting thing I found when I was taking a look at this car is it was actually the very first BMW ever made was a licensed version of this. So they were building Austins under license, uh, and that's how BMW started. So if it wasn't for this car, BMWs would not exist. Um, but anyway, it's not fast. It is the D-Class 100 starting starting PI, so yeah. It's really not very fast. Um, and I will head to a house and upgrade it in a second, but before I do that I want to find a tune for this, because I hear no, I hear if you you can get a tune that is um, that will make it do a wheelie. So I'm guessing one of the first ones that comes up will be for that reverse wheelie. Wheelie 7. There's a lot of reverse wheelie, but I'm pretty sure there's some that are wheelie anyway. So I do want to quickly try that just so that we've done it. Uh, and then I'll go and upgrade and customise it, see what options are available. Right. The tune is installed. Are we ready? Are you ready for this? Ah. I mean, it did a wheel. It wasn't... Oh, there we go. It does do it. Well, there we go. It, it did do a wheelie. Right, let's go and put a sensible tune on it. I forgot I'd set myself to offline, that's where this driver tiles around. Um, basically it was getting confused when I was doing Super 7 challenges, because I kept loading into them before it could load into a session, so I just told it to appear offline, so that's why that's doing that. Right, anyway. Yes, I would like to remove the setup, 
it didn't even do a very good wheelie and it's ridiculous and I want to put something sensible on it. Right, so in terms of conversions you have got a motorbike engine swap if you want to do that and your usual all-wheel drive swap, which those kind of make sense. Um, obviously you can put tyres on with writing if you really really want. We'll go vintage race on this. Not sure what we'll actually build this to. You can put some slightly wider tyres on but not massively so it's never gonna handle brilliantly I don't think this car. Um, we will fix the fix the gearbox because a 1924 gearbox is not going to be very good. What else can we do? You can put bigger brakes on it but you can't see them because... So I wonder if you put race brakes on, does it technically have disc brakes? Because this is... It, it doesn't, it has drum brakes I'm assuming. <laughs> can lower it. You know what, sure, let's put race suspension on it. <laughs> Not sure what we're building this up to, it's still sitting at D-Class 100. What does a roll cage look like? Absolutely ridiculous, let's not do that. We can do weight reduction, although I don't necessarily think that's a good idea. It's already quite a light car. Alright, let's chuck in all the power we can without doing an engine swap and then see where we are. Is it still at D-Class 100? Oh no, there we go, it's it's jumped now. If we could get it to the top of C-Class even without an engine swap, that would be kind of nice. Hmm. So that's kind of your maximum with the standard engine and without doing a drive trans uh, drivetrain swap. I'll leave... yeah, I didn't want to do weight reduction or roll cage. Okay, we'll leave it like that. That's probably not a bad little setup. It's not going to be competitive for any racing, but I don't think it is anyway, even if you build it to the top of a class. If you just if you can't get tyres fatter than that, it's not going to be very good. It, it just isn't. So, right. Let's see. Alright. Uh, or quickly what designs and paints are available. Um, I mean like what manufacturer colours. There's a sort of yellowy colour that's actually sort of brown and a reddy colour that's sort of brown and a bluey colour that's dark and a... is that green? And grey. It has got um, two turn. I think you can do like the mud guards separately to the bodywork. I will quickly see what community has come up with. Okay, there's some cool cool little hot rod ones and um, service vans and things. <laughs> and the taxis. Um, but yeah, I want a simple two-tone, I think. So we will... Oh, no, don't do that. No! Paint car. Group 1. Normal colours. Oh, look at that. What does it look like in purple? <laughs> no, I quite like like a little... Oh, wow. That's really nice, actually. And if we go group two and go with a... We've got a, like a nice dark blue. Maybe not quite that dark. Yeah, I like that. Hang on, what's group two on the... On it. <gasps> Look, we can paint the. I guess we should really do them in the blue to match that. That is cool. We can paint like the handles and the starter, the starter lever. I like that. That looks very cool. So we've tried to wheelie the car. It wasn't very good. We've upgraded it ourselves. We've made it look a lot better. I love the love the paint schemes. I could have so much fun. You could do that with so many colours, just like the lighter colour on the bodywork and the darker the darker on the on the mud guards. And the running boards and stuff. Oh, it's so cool. We need paint groups like that on the big Bentley. Which is obviously slightly newer, but yeah, these old cars. 
they work so well for two tones, so it makes sense that it's got the layer groups. No, I wouldn't like to connect to Horizon Life, because it will break when I try and do some challenges. Okay, that's reasonable. It goes... the gears are a bit short, I think. Ah, uh, they're probably alright, actually. So there is six of them. Hello, train. We finally got a car that's probably... <laughs> almost the right era for the train. Yeah, it's very cool. Look at that wiper. Look at that windscreen wiper. You can only wipe the top bit. Oh, that bar on the windscreen is right in my eye line. That's not very clever. Yeah, it's cool little interior. Funny little dials. Very cool. I love how the headlights are all the way back there as well, not the front. It's a little bit weird, but... Yeah, I do like this thing. It's just cool. I'm not going to use it for anything, it's just cool. I can imagine people might use it to build some Super 7 challenges, some stupid stunts and things. Especially if they've got one with a wheelie tune on. You could build something interesting with that, maybe. It's really a shame people aren't taking advantage of some of the stuff you could build with that. Everyone's just building ramps and speed traps and doing jumps. It's... Yeah, it was getting a little bit repetitive to unlock the, the next car, which I'm going to be testing out later. Oh, look, a green one. That I like. But yeah, there we go. That is that is the Austin 7, the first prize car you unlock for the Super 7. So I really would recommend doing enough of them to at least get this car. Um, and, and the Triumph as well. I, I think it is worth doing them to unlock the cars. They are both interesting vehicles, something a little bit different that's been added. So yeah, I do think they are probably worth getting. We'll, we'll see what the tramps like. Um, but this thing's just fun. I mean, who wouldn't want this car? It's a brilliant little thing. Even if we are... Whoa! Okay, that was a bit scary. <laughs> Even if it is only doing 90. I mean, obviously, if you did want to engine swap it, you could make it fast or something, maybe, but... Yeah, I quite like it as it is. It's a fun little thing to whiz about in. Very cool little car. Yeah, but there we go. That probably is going to do it for a first look at the Austin 7. So I will be back later today um, with the usual, the usual upload time, uh, as well as this video, uh, to take a look at the Triumph TR7, which is the tier 7 prize for Horizon Super 7. So, yeah, if you do want either of these cars, that's how you unlock them. You just have to play a lot of challenges. I think I probably played nearly a hundred challenge cards to get the Triumph, so that gives you a kind of idea of what it takes to unlock them. It does take a little while. Um, I think I played through the Super 7 probably about ten times, but I did some uh, challenges by search as well to try and do some more interesting ones, so... Yeah. It does take a bit of a grind through this to get it, which is a little bit unfortunate, but... Anyway, um, that is going to do it for a first look at the Austin 7, and like I say, I'll be back later today to test out the Triumph TR7, and then tomorrow I will be on here again to test out the... the Quadra, the car from Cyberpunk, which is going to be very cool. Something completely, completely different to everything else we've got. Um, so... Yeah. And then, obviously, on Thursday, there'll be the new season, so there'll be another car to test out. Um, but anyway, that is going to be all for this video, taking a look at the Austin 7, and I'll be back later today to test out the Triumph. Um, but yeah, that is all for this video, so thank you very much for watching, and I will be back with the next video very soon.